ओके सो इट इज एन यू बाई एफ सी के बी डी एंड एम यू बाई एफ सी के बी डी स्क्वेर ओके सो दैट रेशियो इट इज कमिंग एज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन एट फाइव सेवन फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड द अदर वन इज कमिंग एज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स थ्री फोर टू ओके नाउ वी नीड टू रेफर सो नेक्स्ट वी कैन राइट is so adopting adopting an effective cover of 50 mm okay generally we will take uh, 50 mm as the cover okay and depth we have How much is the depth? It is 300 mm. Okay, that is the TS and um, yeah, um, that is the thickness of the slab. Okay, that is or depth um, we can call it. Okay, so that is 300. Okay, and the D dash. As 50 mm. So if we take d dash as 50 mm, what is the ratio of d by d dash? Sorry, d dash by d. D dash by d is how much is the ratio? D dash is 50 mm by d is 300 mm. Okay. So how much it is? Calculate. What is the value? One by six, sir. One by six in decimals. Zero point one six seven. Zero point one six seven. Okay. So now. we need to refer the chart so you can write a uh, referring the chart of sp 16 okay so just a moment i have downloaded the sp 6 chart okay, yes so. okay so this one is the sp16 okay and here now what is the value of um, fy fy is how much we, uh, how much is given What is the value of F Y? Hmm? What is the F E? Four one five. F E four one five. What is the value of F C K? Twenty seven. Okay. Now, which type of section we are uh, doing? This is which type of section? Box, box hmm? culvert. Box culvert. Okay. So it will come under this. tension with bending okay so here now d dash by d we have calculated it as 0.167 okay so we can take either this one or if you want you can take this one okay or what you can do you can uh, for, for, from that value you can uh, refer this chart 70 okay you can take that value and you can take the value from this chart 71 and you can take that value from there and you can average it for 0.16 okay so let us take the value from chart 70 directly i am taking the value so it will be just very um, um uh, means the difference will be not that much okay so i am taking the value 
from chart 70 okay so referring to sp chart 70 of sp 16 okay so if i refer to chart 70 so let us go to chart 70 okay so chart 70 is in page number 155 okay so let's go there 150 155 yes this one okay so d dash by d it is 0.15 and fi is 415 okay so here what is the mu by fck bd square value mu by fck bd square value is this one mu by fck into bd square this one 0. Zero six three four two, and it is zero point zero zero one eight. Okay, so zero point zero six. So here it is there zero point zero five. No. So here again it is not there. Zero point. No. Zero point. So here, wait. Chart seventy. Yes, this one. See this one. Okay, this is P T by F C K here. Okay, so P T by F C K it varies. Okay, from zero point zero zero two to zero point zero zero two eight. Okay, so. here we can take so we will take this one as pu by fck into bd pu by fck into bd and see this this is 0.1 so this is 0.01 0.02 3 4 5 and 6 right is it yes 0.06 okay so if you take a straight line here and what is the value of nu by fck bd nu by fck bd is 0.018 okay Zero point. This is zero point zero one. This is zero. Uh, sorry, sorry. This is zero point one. Zero point zero one eight. Okay. So this is zero point zero one. Okay. So can we take this PT by FCK as zero point zero five? Okay. So here I can write. All of you, please mute your mics. so here we can write as for tension and bending okay read out the values of pt by fck so that pt by fck value we need okay so here from that chart pt by this is pt sorry pt by fck so that value is coming as 0.05 and adopting an effective curve so this one is by adopting and effective curve okay curve as 50 mm so d becomes 250 mm and d dash equals to 
okay so so pt we can say it as 100 ast by bd okay so the area of reinforcement that is 0 0.05 okay so it is 0 0.05 into 20 so that becomes 1 and ast equals to bd by 100 so that will be, so b we are we are considering per meter length d is 250 divided by 100 so that becomes 2500 mm square and this is to be equally distributed this is to be equally distributed on both the faces so so the reinforcement required is 2500 oh sorry yes 2500 mm square okay so if so let us say we are assuming 16 mm dia bars okay we are assuming 60 mm dia bars okay so what will be the spacing how to calculate so in order to give this 2500 mm um, mm square area of reinforcement if we are assuming 16 mm dia bars then how many number of bars will be required go over the nitty yes sir yes if the area of reinforcement is 2500 mm square and we are assuming that we will give 16 mm dia bars then what will be the number of bars number of bars equal to 2500 by pi by 4 into 16 square sir yes so please calculate how much number of bars will be required calculate the value So it is 12.43. So roughly we can say 13 numbers. Okay, so we need to give 13 number of bars on both the faces. Okay. Okay, now we will go to the next one that is the so before what I told we need to design what are the sections we need to design we need to design C7 E4 and D6 okay so we have designed the section C7 now okay next we will go to the design of D6 okay so here also we need to calculate the moment so what is the moment here for d6 so if we are see if we are considering this section d6 okay what is the moment moment is minus 54.43 okay that is the ultimate uh, sorry uh, that is the service load moment okay what is the thrust service load thrust service load thrust is 34.65 it is in compression okay so since it is positive it is in compression right okay so let us calculate that one okay so
next is the section D6. Okay, so section D6 means uh, so which one is section D6? D6 is this one that is the support section. Okay, that we are going to design now. Okay, so for section D6, we know that the service load, how much is the service load moment? How much is the service load moment? Service load moment is minus 54.43 kilonewton meter. Okay. Next, what is the next one? So here we will next we will find out the design ultimate moment. So here what we will do again we will multiply 1.5 into 54.43 kilonewton meter. So how much it is coming? It is coming as minus 81.64 kilonewton meter. Okay. Next the sir. The service load thrust. So service load thrust is 34.65 kilonewton. Okay. So ultimate or design ultimate thrust. So design ultimate thrust will be 1.5 into 34.65. So please calculate how much is that one? So it is coming as 51.975 kilonewton. Okay. So similarly, so just like here, we need to calculate what is NU by FCK into B into D and MU by FCK into BD square. Okay, so if you put all those values, okay, so that is 51.97. Yes, 51.97 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 20 into 1000 into 300 and here if you put that value it is 81.64 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 20 into 1000 into 300 square so here this value is coming as nu by fck into b into d that is coming as 0 0.0086 and this is 0 0.045 okay these values are coming okay so since now since this one is the corner section so we need to so just like the previous one so i am directly instead of going to that chart and all okay so you just remember that for the first section you need to refer for chart 70 that is or tension with bending that one you need to check and for this section you need to refer this chart. Okay, that is this one compression with bending, and here it will be chart this one chart. Uh, so, sorry, chart 33 we will also consider. Okay, so that I am writing it here directly. This one 
that referring chart 33 of sp16 with parameters fy equals to 415 newton per mm square and this d dash by d we already calculated it is to be 0.15 pt by fck that is coming out to be 0.025 so if you want you can check here also so chart number 30 <coughs> chart number 33 So chart number thirty-three is it is in page one one eight. Okay, so let's go to page one one eight. If you want, you can cross verify. Okay, see this one. Okay, so F Y. So here it is compression with bending, and here is again the reinforcement is to be distributed now equally on the two sides. So D dash by D is 0.15 and AS equals to PBD by 100. Okay. So here we have the PU by FCK or M or NU by FCK into B into D, and here we have the NU MU by FCK into B into D square. Okay. So here you can see the MU by FCK B D square is 0.046. Okay, so zero point zero one zero two zero three zero four. So you need to take a so straight line somewhere here in between. Okay, it's from zero point zero five four and zero point zero five. Okay, you need to take a straight line and for uh, this one is zero point zero three. Okay, this is zero point zero one two three. Okay, sorry. Uh, zero point zero two. This is zero point zero four. So here in between. Okay, so the where it will cut the first one. Okay. So that is the zero point zero two five. Okay. So zero point zero two five. So hence, can we can I write? So P. Or PT equals to 100 AST by BD, so that is 0.025 into 20 again, so it is 0.5. Okay, and AST equals to 0.5 BD by 100. So that becomes 0.5 into 1000 into 250 divided by 100. So that becomes 1250 mm square. So that is the reinforcement which is to be provided on both the sides. Okay. So let us assume. Let us assume. 12 mm diabas bus okay so if it is 12 mm diabas this is for main reinforcement and 10 mm diabas as distribution reinforcement okay done so now we will go to the design of e4 okay so here the last one So the how the E4 design will be, or how we are going to design for E4. So here you see the service load is, or sorry, service movement is minus 55.89 kilonewton, and the thrust here 
is plus 155 okay so we need to calculate the ultimate load first okay so that is section e4 okay so here the service load the service load is minus 55.89 kilo newton meter so ultimate moment ultimate moment equals to 1.5 into 55.89 so that becomes minus 83.83 kilo newton all of you please check this value whether it is correct or not 1.5 into yes 83.83 kilo newton meter okay now the service load or service load thrust that is again 1.5 into oh, sorry uh, it is 1 55.1 okay kilo newton and this uh, ultimate design thrust equals to 1.5 into 155.1 kilo newton so how much it is please calculate so it is coming as 232 sorry 232.65 kilo newton <coughs> okay so now again we need to compute nu by fck bd and mu by fck bd square okay so nu by fck bd square is nu by fck bd square is 232.65 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 20 into 1000 into 300 so that becomes 0.038 and this is 83.83 into 10 to the power 6 all divided by 20 into 1000 into 300 square so that becomes 0.046 okay so for these two ratios okay we can refer the same okay so we can refer the same chart uh 33 so referring to chart 33 of sp16 with parameters fy equals to 415 newton per mm square and d dash by d equals to 0. Point. one five okay so p by fck equals to 0.025 okay so again here also uh, this uh, so this becomes uh, or sorry this implies this pt it is pt so pt equals to 100 
AST by BD. So that becomes 0 0.025 into 20 equals to 0 0.5. So AST is 0 0.05 into B into D by 100. So it is 0 0.5 into 1000 uh, into 250 by by 100 so that is 1250 square so here we can we take 12 mm dia for main reinforcement and 10 mm dia for distribution enforcement. Okay, you can calculate the space in general. Okay, so now let's let's draw the reinforcement details. Okay. So the reinforcement details, let us draw the reinforcement details. Okay. So here, let us give. So let us say this is your box culvert. This one is the inner inner portion. Okay. So here we will have right. let me change the color. For example, if you said a tender, a single axle or single tear, you know, this is one of the set of wheel configurations. Okay, it will be having the single wheel. Okay, when talking about the tandem axle, single axle means single axle with a single wheel. And the tandem axle in the sense means the red axle will be single wheel. So I'm just not calculating exactly. I'm just putting that. You can calculate and you can draw that. <coughs> okay. And this side also. So all these will be tied. Okay, next, these ones, the inside ones. This one. And this one also. This one too. Okay, so now what are these? Uh, okay, so this one 
ada 10 mm lah ya and the center to center distance is 150 mm 150 center to center okay and this one this is the main reinforcement this is 12 mm dia bar at 150 mm center to center okay what about so since the vertical side walls okay so here these will be 12 mm dia bars at 150 center to center okay and these will be here the 16 mm dia bar at 150 mm center to center okay and see these ends over here these ends over here they are not to be straight like this so here you need to provide it with lilet okay so if it will be straight then stresses will be there okay so this one is 150 plus 150 n i l l t little it okay and here we will have let me change the ink or let me use this one this is not a monolithic structure so these are construction joints okay because rcc rcc is susceptible to expansion and all okay so here also we will have the construction joints okay now one more thing so see here on the both sides on the both sides here everything will be what will be everything this one what is this one this above it we have so this is the cross section okay okay what is all these here what are all these on the both sides these are back fills okay so whenever rain and all will be there so definitely this back fill it will absorb water okay we need to drain that water or else it uh, means this one will shrink okay so in order to do that so here we need to provide wait i'll change the color again here so here we need to provide some holes okay so what are those holes called those holes are called as v holes okay so what is the function of this v hole in order to so whatever water will be here inside this back fill and all if any water comes here that will be drained out through this v hole to the this water body okay so this completes your 
design of box culvert so your first unit is completed okay and tomorrow uh, i will give you the assignments for this one okay or let us uh, check the assignments here itself okay so here we have four design problems okay example 1 example 2 example 3 and example 4 okay four design problems we have that is your assignment if you are able to do all these four four problems then definitely you can solve this one in your whether it is in your end semester or it is in your mid semester okay so i will share this uh, entire link or this entire pdf with you which comes under your unit 1 part okay that's it